Welcome back to my channel. Last week, we have talked about area formulas, and specifically, we saw an example about area, we're using area by coordinates. And today, I would like to talk about these two other formulas. Let's go ahead and have a visual of why and how are we using these two formulas. Imagine you have a curve like that. And you have to calculate the area underneath this curve, which is this area right here. The way this is done, we're going to split this horizontal distance into equally spaced distances. I'm going to do this right here. And this is the W, which is used in both of these formulas called common interval. This is W. I will quickly show it over here. And then we're going to draw vertical lines all the way up to our curve. There you go. And these are the H1, H2, H3, all the way to Hn used in the formula. So in order to solve this area, using trapezoidal rule, what's happening is actually I'm going to draw a straight line, which forms a trapezoid here. And if you would consider this line trapezoid here, and imagine if I was to draw a straight line everywhere here, it's very hard to see. We are losing some of the area due to the fact that we actually have a curve. So the area using trapezoidal rule and Simpson's rule is an approximation of the real area. Another thing to note is that in order to use Simpson's rule, the number of the intervals must be an odd number. So in our case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight intervals, which means we're not able to use Simpson's rule, but we can use trapezoidal rule. Let's go ahead and work on an actual example right now. The table below shows ordinates y at regularly spaced points x. Estimate the area under the curve using a trapezoidal rule and b Simpson's rule. So what we're giving here, the common interval, we're going from 0 to 0 0.5, from 0 0.5 to 1, from 1 1.5 to 2, which means that the W for the common interval is 0 0.5. And also we know N equals to 7 intervals, which means we're able to use Simpson's rule. If we had an even number of intervals, we were not able to do that. In case you have an example like this on the exam, the only thing you have to do, just go to the FE handbook and type trapezoidal rule, and it's going to lead you straight to the formula that you need to use, or Simpson's rule, pretty straightforward. Now let's go ahead and solve this by writing down the formula for trapezoidal rule, which is W multiplied by h1 plus hn over 2 plus h2 plus h3 plus hn. And if we were to apply it to our case, we're going to have w multiplied by h1 plus hn. We have, we already talked about this, we have seven intervals. So hn is going to be equal to seven divided by two. And actually, I encourage you to stop this video. Go ahead and solve this by yourself and come back and let's match our results. Plus h2 plus h3 plus h4 plus h5 plus h6 equals. And now we will just substitute w equals to 0 0.5 multiplied h1 
2.6 plus h7 is 3 over 2 plus h2 3.5 plus 2.4 plus 4.2 plus 4.1 plus 2 equals, and go ahead and use your calculator, and you should get an area equal with 9.5 meters squared. So the trapezoidal rule gives us an area equals to 9.5 meters squared. And I just want to point out something, that if you are on the exam, you could tell right away that A would be the correct answer. But on the exam, I'm thinking you might not be that lucky. You might have, let's say, somewhere else a 9.5, which means you're going to have to calculate Simpson's rule as well. But if you don't have a 9.5 anywhere else, you can just stop here and pick your correct answer A and move forward. Right now, I'll obviously go ahead and calculate the area using Simpson's rule just because I like to get into some practicing habits. And the Simpson rule tells me that the area is equal to age one plus two, and we have sum of age k, and k is all of the odd numbers, three, five, so on, and minus 2 all the way up to n minus 2 and then plus 4 multiplied by the sum of h k where k equals to the even numbers all the way to n minus 1 plus h n and of course this is all divided by 3 if you remember don't forget about this. It's divided by 3, or we can just multiply it by 1 over 3, like I did over here. So moving forward, AS, if we are to apply it to our case, we're going to have W multiplied by age 1 plus 2. And we have to get the sum of ages, the odd ages, which are 3, 5. 1 and 7, we already have them in the formula. We're not going to add them here. So we're going to have the sum between age 3 and age 5 plus 4 multiplied by the next two, actually 3, are the ages with an even number, which is age 2 plus age 4 plus age 6 and plus age 7 multiplied by 1 over 3. Now let's go ahead and substitute. W, we're going to have 0 0.5. Again, I actually encourage you to stop this video, go ahead and solve this on your own and come back here. And I will have let me continue using the square parentheses. H1 is 2.6 plus 2 multiplied by H3, going to have 2.4 plus H5, 4.1 plus 4 multiplied by H2, which is 3.5 plus H4, 4.2 plus H6, 2, plus H7, which is 3, and all of this multiplied by 1 over 3. Now use your calculators, and you should get an area equal to 9.57 meters squared. So let me write down this here. AS equals to 9.57 for the area using Simpson's rule is equal to 9.57 meters squared. And of course it gets you to this. Option A is the correct answer.
It's been a pretty straightforward problem, but it's good to get the use of knowing where the formula is and how to calculate it, how to apply it. That being said, that is it for today. I'll see you next week.